everyone as good afternoon it's music time with miss tanya and i hope you're ready let me get, grab estrella so we can clap 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 everybody knows clap 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 it's time to have some fun clap 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 everybody knows get ready it's music time hope you're clapping and if you want to wiggle your shoulders like this come on move your shoulders ready for music and I hope you nod your head and you move your shoulders all around and you clap your hands because for today I am excited to tell you about this this family of instrument now we have learned about percussion instruments we have learned about strings instruments and we did um, woodwind instruments likewise so we did three families but today we're going to learn about a fourth family of instrument called the brass now you might be wondering what is the brass instrument yeah brass instruments are instruments like the trumpet yes the trumpet then you have other brass instrument that are family like the tuba then of course you have the trombone trombones and last but not least that i'm telling you about today is the french horn now the french horn is quite a unique one quite curly roarly and it has a big um bell a big bottom at the, at the end of the instrument called a bell and it sounds like now, do you see me stand your hand like this? Is because you tend to rest your hand inside it. The French horn has this big bell, and you have to rest your hand inside it when you're playing it. They are unique instrument. They are called the brass instrument because of the material that they are made out of. They are made out of the shiny metal material, and the material is called brass. So that's the reason why they are called families of brass instruments. Can you believe that? Now, let me tell you two things that is very important for you to know about the brass instruments. Um, first of all, the sound tends to be quite low and heavy, but they're beautiful. And second, you need your lips to play it. Yes, the lips, there is there's this trick about how you put your lips and it helps the sound of the instruments okay and um, of course you need wind this instrument is not to shake not to bang not to strum no 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 you need to blow in it <sighs> but wait not like that not like the concert flute or the flute no 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 you have to blow in it with your lips like this <laughs> can you do that <laughs> let's see try it <laughs> If you do that and put your finger close by, you will feel without putting your fingers on your lip, don't touch your lips, just close, close by, and you will feel the air. You will feel the air coming on your finger. That's how you play the brass instrument. So I want you to hear their sound and to see a little bit more about them. All right, but before I do so, uh, actually, you, you've seen it and you're going to hear a little bit about them now. But we'll you just heard the trumpet. That was cool, right? Now you're about to hear the trombone.
hope you enjoy that. Last two to hear is now you're about to hear the French horn and you will see the lady have her hand inside it. And then the last one will be the tuba with the big heavy sound. Tuba. But before I finish, I want to sing this little song for you and this will help you to remember the brass instrument too. So we are going to do hash bun musical. You have heard this song before, so help me. And you're gonna to pretend to be one. Um, we're gonna to pretend to be one of these instruments, okay? Hash bun musical, hash bun musical. Or play the French horn. Get it? Or play the trombone. Now, I will have to say, see you soon. Don't forget, practice and listen to other instruments around you because they are all unique and they all belong to a family. Okay, see you soon.